and I want to tell you in this place today if you have not been having so many visions like some of your friends have not been in fact some of you know how many of you have ever gone for meetings before and you try you try to position yourself so that prophet can prophesy over you is anybody like that here and they have never prophesied hallelujah you have gone for meetings they tell you that man of god prophesied and then you will not go and position yourself if some of you go and sow seed and they will not still see anything how many of you are here glory to god clap for jesus for yourself <laughs> that clap is an encouragement i just want to come and encourage you tonight that don't worry the word of god is enough for you if you sit down with the word of god it has all of god's voice everything god can tell you is in the word my father lord has shared his testimony about how he got the word for his life and ministry the word of god is true don't be so concerned about trying to see god chooses the way he wants to speak to you not you choosing the way you want him you want him to speak to you how we enter into error is that we try to find the way we think we like for god to speak to us whereas it's not possible that way we come into error because we try to what we want to negotiate with god talk to me through dreams do you remember what pastor was telling us when he first started his christian race how he had visions i usually have dreams how many of you still remember the story and then one day this will have to say if i now make you a big man of god now you will have to be bringing mattress or mats to the other. i said let us sleep for 30 minutes let us hear what the lord shall say unto us <laughs> by now every one of you will have in fact i will have open shop mats and mattresses shop somebody say the word of god it is easier for you to hear god's word when you are i mean to hear god speak to you when you are acquainted to his word are you getting what i'm saying if god has not been speaking to you you have not been having visions you have not been feeling somehow somehow you have not been hearing this you have not been you know sometimes when you are in the midst of some of your friends they can how will i put it now they can put you under pressure that the lord said i see an angel I see. and you you do not see anything don't be under pressure to so say or to try to find god <laughs> spirits will talk to you sit down with the word what did i say god has not spoken to you because you have closed the bible sit down with it he will talk sometimes i'm i'm reading the scriptures i'm just reading i'm reading i'm reading i'm reading i'm reading scripture i've been reading for five years i have been reading all of a sudden a light will just come pa! sometimes the solution to the problem that i'm going through will be explained through the story through a story that does not even look like what i someone understand what i'm saying just like pastor told us that he knew that he was called into full-time ministry by seeing the story of who of elizabeth and when it was what full time she saw it and that was what god spoke to him if you sit down with the word of god is the sure is the most sure way of god communicating to man let me go back to my starting scriptures the scripture says those who are led by the spirit are the what sons of god and let me tell you something this evening that the holy spirit will never say something that negates god's word the holy spirit will never tell you something outside of god's word everything the holy spirit speaks is within the confines of god's word everything the holy spirit tells you is within the cons the confines of what of god's word he will never negate god's word the holy spirit will never say anything that the word has not said to you anything against the word will not be will never be communicated by the holy spirit because the spirit and the word are in sync somebody said they are in sync so next time when you say the holy spirit speaks to you and it doesn't relate or look like what the bible will say discard that one that one is not the holy spirit 
if you search through all the scriptures and you don't find something that looks like what you perceive the Holy Spirit has said to you or that your spirit has said to you do what? start it glory to God are you in church this evening? are you learning something? amen let me tell us this as believers to hear God we must be trained it is process what did I say? it is process you grow in hearing God many of us are always amazed when we hear that the Jews say my daddy is here it didn't start like that there were days that he felt it was his daddy and it's not his daddy because this is it in hearing God the number one prerequisite is that you are born again let us try that out prerequisite of hearing God let me just teach about that this evening then we go the prerequisite of hearing God what's another word for prerequisite help me huh? requirement for hearing God I'm just contributing my own quota pastor has preached he has spoken to us requirement for hearing God number one is you must be born again because the truth is at the truth of God you can't hear the word of God John chapter 10 verse 27 if you have your Bible can you quickly open to that place let us see what the Bible says there John 10 27 if you are not of God you can't hear God because you can't know his voice if that enters this place and they blindfold you they know it's my dad if my dad talks I know it's my dad how many of you are like that here? Yeah? You know, especially our mothers. Am I right? You know, when I was still with my parents, when my mom is coming, all of us know. From outside, she will see something she will complain about. <laughs> and uh, my mommy does not have, she doesn't know how to speak gently. But I thank God, those things were the things that made us. Hallelujah! When my mother is coming, everybody knows. You have to do what? You have to align. Am I right? And some of us from our father's voice greeting people in the compound. You go and on the you go on the TV. How many of you are like that? Glory to God. Now the reason why I know is my dad's voice is because I belong to him. I have been with him. I am of him. Are you get what I'm saying now? You are not born again. You can't know God's voice. If you are not bent of God, you can't do what? You can't know voice God, God's voice. There is a way God speaks to you. There is a peculiar way God speaks to his children. God doesn't speak like every other fathers. There is a special way. And the truth is, if you are not born of him, you can't know his voice. If you are not a child of God, you can't know the voice of your father. Being born again is the first prerequisite for hearing whose voice? You know, many of us want to use God. Many people. But they don't have a relationship with God. And being born again does not end in you just saying, Jesus, I confess you as my Savior. He must be your Lord. If you must hear his voice. He must be your what? He must be your Lord. God cannot tell you don't marry a sister. And you went ahead to go and marry her. And you want him to keep talking to you about the sister. Is it possible? God cannot tell you don't step into the business. And you went ahead to step into the business. And you run at us. You are not telling God, God, why? Why me? And you are telling God, can you tell me how to make profit? Anything he has not commanded, he is not committed to it. God does not invest his word in a place he has not sent you. Does somebody understand what I've just said? That means, from, be, from even when we are talking about this being born again, number one step is that you confess him as your savior. The next one is that he perfectly be your what? Your Lord. Let me tell you one secret. 
any area you have not submitted to Jesus, he doesn't speak to you in that place. He will allow you to run the show yourself. The voice of God is an expensive commodity. What did I say? It is not meant for everybody. It is only meant for sons. That is why the scripture says, those who are led by the Spirit of God are the what? Sons of God. What did the Bible say? John chapter 10 verse 7. Let us see it. Let us run. He said, my sheep do it what? They hear my voice. Look at that. And I know them. And it again. Let everybody hear it. My sheep hear my voice. He said, my sheep. Yes, my voice. Look at that word. The first thing in that place is that they are his what? They are his, we are his what? That means when you are a sheep, you don't have your own will. When you are a sheep, you don't have your own agenda. When you are a sheep, you totally depend on the shepherd. When he said mine, that is, that is, he wants that what? Belongs to what? To me. When I tell you this is my phone. Can I get phones? Bring me your phone. This is a phone, yes or no? This is a phone, yes or no? But I cannot call this one my phone. The one I call my phone, I know the password. And when I speak on it to Siri, it will answer me. Somebody understand what I'm saying? Do you realize that? How many of you are using iPhone yet? You are using iPhone. Do you notice that? Alexia or your Siri. You can't talk to somebody else, cannot come and talk to it and it will answer. It can only do what? Recognize your voice because it belongs to where? Only those who belong to God can hear the voice of God. Only those who belong to God can do what? He said, my sheep. Hear my voice. Hear my voice. And I know them. And I know them. And they follow me. Thank you so much. So in your journey of knowing God, we have to ask this question. Are you God's sheep? Are you born again? Is it the, even after now that is your Savior, is it the Lord of your life? Are you following me this evening? Oh, glory to God. Oh, Adulam. I am. Oh, Adulam. Oh, secretness. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. Ayo, 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 oh, oh, Adula, ayo, oh, secret place, ayo, ayo, ayo. My God, come on, sing that song. Oh, I do love Except a man is born of God, he cannot do what? See the kingdom. That means he don't know what to do in the kingdom. He doesn't know how the God of that kingdom speak. So the first process, the first prerequisite to hearing God is that you are what? You are born again. And now that you are born again, hearing the voice of God is your spiritual heritage. It's your heritage. A 
and the God, the God we serve, the God we talk about here, is a good daddy. He's a good father. He always wants to speak to you. He always wants to speak to you. And let me tell you the truth. Hearing from God is not rocket science. What I say? It's not rocket science. I know that God speaks to men. He has ordered my life. I know. So nobody can tell me otherwise that God doesn't speak to men. You are the one who has run away from him. You are the one who has decided not to come to where he is. He said, my sheep. Yes, my God. And I do what? And I know them. Does God know you? God does not speak to people he can identify with. God does not speak to people he doesn't know. And when we talk about knowing in this place, that if you don't belong to his kingdom, hearing his voice is not guaranteed. You don't need to look for a prophet anywhere. If you are a child of God, he will speak to you. I knew where to serve three years before I went to service. Three years. I was in 300 level when God spoke to me. 400 level. From 300 level, I started telling my people, I said, I know where I'm going to serve. 300 level, 400 level. The extra year, I knew. I was just praying one morning and God spoke. I was not even asking. He just spoke. He said, you are going to Makodi. Somebody say Makodi. God spoke. Especially, this thing is not hard. He spoke. He said, you are going to Makodi. He said, Makodi, what are you saying? Makodi, me. What was wrong with Abuja? What was wrong with Lagos? Portacourt, where I can make money. I'm the first child, man. In fact, my plan was to go to Aba. I want to import suits. You don't get it? I wanted to import. That was it. And I told my friends. I told some of them. I said, God told me. He said, Oga, we should be service again. You never even go IT. Because we go to IT in my school, Fair University of Technology, I'm correct, 400 level. I said, I said, you never even go IT. You are talking about. Uh... I said, God said it. So I wasn't confused. So I told my friend. My friend said, when it was time for the posting, he started speaking to me. They said, one came to meet me. He said, I perceive a do or Kaduna. I laughed. I laughed. I liked it. I laughed. My mother wanted to ma Oh, let me not use the word manipulate. You know, our parents are very funny, right? You know, because of the love they have for you sometimes, they can if you are not careful. That, that's why you have to keep praying for them. They can push you out of the will of God for your life. And they will still think it's love. So my mother said, Marco what? Marco D. Where full and earth men are killing. So she said, no, 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 no. No. There's Lagos. I have somebody that knows somebody that knows. just like this. And after one day, she went to there's a mountain she used to pray. And she was praying there. She was praying. She was praying. She was praying. I told her, I said, God said, I'm going to my God. She was praying. She was praying. And a prophet came to her. He said, Leave my son alone. Where I have sent him, let him go. That place he has mentioned to you is where I have sent him. My mother came back home, was in tears. He said, and you, you said God told you. He said, I'm just coming from the mountain. A man I don't know from anywhere just came and spoke to me. He said, I am the one that is sending him there. My body does not look like a place I want to be. But God armed me. He, he, he gave me the advantage of his voice because I am his child. I mean, God can also talk to you. Did you get me? God spoke about you to marry. He spoke. <laughs> She's there sitting pretty good. Even when Thomas came and I told her this is what God helped me do. She said, ah, no, we are not doing it. I'm not doing it. I went to tell her, I'm not doing it again. The word of God disturbed me. I spoke to you. I spoke. I spoke. Even when God told me, I said, what? What are you talking about? And they are pastor now. The word of God is real. He can speak to you. That is what I'm trying to tell you tonight. So far you are his child. 
You don't need to go to Kutu Wenji. You don't need to go to Kafantan Sokoto. He can speak to you. Yoruba will always say, In Koto, Walosi Sokoto, Shekini. When you are his child, he speaks to you. Hebrews 1 1. He said, God, who at sundry time has spoken to us in diverse manner through prophet. He said, Now he has spoken to us expressly through his son. speak to you. That's not what say. He can speak to you. And he's still speaking. My friends came with prophecy. You will go to Edo. You will go to Anab. I said no. I said no. What God told me is what? My body. I tried to play God. I heard God but I still tried to play. The day we are going to release, fill our three options. How many of you understand that? Thing? You go and fill three places. I chose to do not he said, I'll go, I'll go and do Koinonia for me. I chose Abba. Which state is Abba again? Abia state. I chose it. And I said, let me respect God. And I put me in We are conversant with Futa. There's a place they call Megatech. Is there anybody from Futa here? Or Akure? Huh? Megatech, right click. So that was where I went to do the registration, sir. And as I was stepping out of the place, the Lord said, the last place, like I told you three years ago, that is where you are going to. Few days after, Makodi. God still speaks. I've been telling them in church. God told me I'm going to Makodi. Even when I got to Makodi, God told me where I was going to serve. God told me I was you are going to serve here. They, they will not post you to any place of primary assignment. You will serve with NCCF. God told me. It is real. I am here to tell you that God still speaks to people. And I get somebody say, God can speak to me. Say, God will speak to me. He told me. The word of God is real. He can talk to you. Was it not God who spoke to God? When you go to this place, go to the street, go to the go to this place, go to this place. And you will meet a man there. I mean, God spoke to an alliance, I mean, to go and look for Paul. God. He speaks. If you are his child, he doesn't hide things from you. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. He said, Come, let us reason together. Hi! Didn't you hear that in this one? He said, Come. He even called you. He said, Come. Take out your zero room. That means I talk, you talk. It's dialogue. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk. That's why when I see that the geo, I say Kai. He said, My daddy just said to me now. And you know the funniest thing, he doesn't need to do, just like Pastor Willis. Kaimo Kaimo. Doesn't need to do Kaimo Kaimo. Doesn't need to shake you. I mean you can be sipping a cup of tea and the Holy Ghost is talking to you. I mean you can be in your toilet. And you are just there. He speaks to you. Sometimes you are driving. And he's just there speaking to you. In fact, sometimes you are in the midst of conversation with your friends and he's speaking to you. It all depends on how much you have trained your human spirit to pick his voice. Sometimes people are talking to me and the only ghost will be telling me it's like, and I'll be laughing with you and then, me that I've gotten the information before you said it from your mouth. He speaks. Somebody say he speaks. Some of my people here, they know. When I... Pastor, how, how, how did you know? I did not tell you now. You don't need to tell me. There is a God that lives in me. That I am his son. That knows all things. So what you are giving me is a memo. He has given me the news. The happening. As it is happening, he's telling me. I mean, this thing is real. He can talk to you. He can talk to you on who to marry. He can talk to you on the job to do. He can talk to you on where to settle down. He can talk to you on where to travel to. He can talk to you on how to talk. I mean, he can even tell you the clothes of wear. This evening, I've been robbed. I've just God, which clothes will I wear? And as I was praying, preparing for this meeting, I was just laying down. Ratos, kata, bracatella, Joseph, rata. In fact, this was not, this cloth was not even part of what was part of the selection I was making for my wife in the morning. Okay, went to revival and this cloth. Let me wear it. The Lord just spoke. To me. I just saw it. He can speak. He can speak to you. Number one prerequisite is that you are what? Born again. And 
and when you are born again you are born of god when you are born of god you're a child of god amen are you learning something tonight another way another prerequisite for you to hear god is you must be a meek person virtue of meekness somebody say meekness what is another word for meekness humble humility because many a times the speakings of god does not look they don't align with your senses sometimes the speakings of god are foolishness to man sometimes when god speaks to you they don't look aligned to your woman calculation they don't look sensible you have three shoes and god told you give two out does it make sense to you Yoruba self, Yoruba Adek self will not make you believe the word of God. Am I right? Let me tell you the Yoruba Adek. Is that not the first thing that will come to your mind? How come? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And you don't know the beauty. You don't know the, the most unreasonable part of it is that the one is telling you to give out are the best ones. That one that has looked like this. I will now tell you, hold that one to yourself. That means, if you are going to hear God, you will forget logic. If you are going to hear God, you must be humble. Listen to what the scripture says. Psalm 119 verse 130. He said, the entrance of this word, give it light. And what? Understanding to the simple. Make Another pastor said, to the meek, to the meek, to a simple-hearted fellow, to a simple-hearted fellow, the communications of God will only make sense to a man who is meek. God can be speaking to you and you are not hearing is because you are not what? You are not meek. One thing that, oh my God. One thing that converts the speakings of God to the understanding of man is meekness. The virtue that converts the communications of God to the understanding of man is what? It's meekness. Because the communications of God are not Yoruba English. The scripture says the words that I speak to you, they are spirit, they are life. John chapter 6 verse 63. So when God speaks to you, he doesn't speak Yoruba. What he speaks is what? Spirit and what? And life. So, what converts spirit and life in you is what? Humility. That's one of the things that converts it to your, to what you can understand. So, when you think God is not speaking in that situation, He is speaking. Check your humility level. Are you humble enough? Many of us have been bothered about things. We have been worried. We have been perpetually kept in a position of worrying and the depression unnecessary pressure because we didn't hear god we are not humble enough to subject and submit ourselves to the word of god listen to me let me let me let us do another practical are you in church how many of you have ever fought someone before and uh, the person wronged you sincerely the person wronged you and uh, God now tell you go and apologize to the person hallelujah is there anybody like that here yeah. God told you outrightly go and apologize to the person and after God told you it doesn't make sense does it normally make sense to you that way and uh, listen this is where I'm going to God now spoke to you, you did not still apologize. Is anybody like that here? Yeah? Don't worry, I'm not chastising you now. I've been like that too. Naturally, human being, by the reason of the fallen nature, we have coconut head. We know they hear what? Is anybody like that here? Yeah? God now spoke to you. God told you, go and apologize. But you did not go. Is anybody? What happens to you that time you did not go? Eh? You were being what? 
worried, worried, worried. Sometimes you can so even I, go into I wasn't depression. Free at all. You will now be worried. Everything about you will not be working. Am I right? Do you know that you are the one that put yourself in that situation? Because you were calculating with your head. That is, that means you were not humble to listen to the word of God. One characteristic of a spirit-led believer is that he has humility to follow the foolish things of God. Why do we call it foolish? Because to your common sense, it doesn't what? It doesn't make sense. How many of you have heard about the general of the Syrian army called Lehman? How many of you read about him in the scriptures? When God spoke to him through the prophet Elisha, he came, he said he wanted to do this, he wanted to do that, he wanted to get healed. And Elisha told him to go and bath in where? River Jordan. How many times? Seven times. What did he tell him? What did he tell him? Well, are there no rivers in Syria? Why are you telling me to go and bath? Does it make sense to him? But that is where his miracle lies. Listen to me. Let us say he delayed one month before he went to do that bath. It has been added to the history of his life. If it was planned that at that day Elisha spoke, it was meant for him to be a leper for just 20 years of his life. He has increased it by another one month. Because he was not what? He was not humble. He brought logic to what God was telling him. And this is the reality of many of us. But at the instance that he humbled himself at the word of God, what happened? He got his deliverance. Listen to me. You are not humble to receive God's word. You are not entitled for more word. But check your humility level. When he says that you are not ready, you won't. And the truth is this, this one beautiful thing about God. What qualifies you for the next instruction is your last obedience. Is your last acceptance of what he has said. This night is not a night for speaking big, big things. We need to talk. These are practical things that we must go back and begin to do what? And begin to utilize. Take it. How much do you resist the word of God? So if you will continually hear God's voice, if you will hear God's voice, you must be humble. Your heart, your mind, must do away with human logic sometimes. It doesn't make sense. I want to eat the blind. And the scripture told us that whatsoever I see my father do, I do. Was that not Jesus spoken? speaking? Jesus spoke. And now there was a man. The scripture said he didn't hear even have eyeball in the socket of his eyes. And all that Jesus, all that God told Jesus to do was carry what? Sand. And do what? If it is you, you will not allow. Over Peter Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The reason why Moses could hear God was because he was the meekest man. He was a meek man. God told us that he was meek. Amen. God will always guide and teach the meek. Psalm 29 verse 9. 25 verse 9. Let us open to that place. And let somebody quickly read for me. Psalm 25 verse 9. Let me quickly round off. Psalm 29 verse 9. Have we learned something this evening? Amen. Psalm 25 verse 9. Are you there? Read it out loud for me. Read it out loud. Is anybody there? Please. Okay, let the brother read, sir. Did you hear that? The scripture says, The meek will he guide. In what? In judgment. judgment. And the meek will he teach his ways. And in will he teach his what? His ways. What qualifies you? One of the prerequisites for hearing God's voice is what? Meekness. Somebody say meekness. And you pray to God this evening. Say, Father, help me to be meek. Can I hear you pray in a few minutes? Give me, give me that sound. Increase it a little bit more. Can you pray? Holy Ghost. Oh. Hey, Holy Ghost. 
Ghost. Oh, 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 oh. Can you pray, Father? Help me to be meek. Holy Ghost. Oh, 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 oh. Amen. Sometimes being meek is forgetting your own ways of doing things. gave you I said the other time what qualifies you for the next instruction is obedience for the last there are some people here they have stopped hearing God since last year they don't know because the last time they the time they last obeyed God was when last year last year last year faithfulness Somebody say faithfulness. Faithfulness. How faithful are you? To yield it to God's command. To yield it to God's instruction. God tells you, don't go, you go. And this is it. Anytime you go to a place that He has not sent you, you become your own covering. And you're on your own. You want to go to US? He's telling you, stay, stay, stay in Lufu Akbe. Stay in your father. <laughs> but because all your friends are abroad, say it's US, that's where God is now. God can be there for those people, God might not be there for you. Somebody understand me? Faithfulness. Stay. Because the truth is, when you get to that place, you are on your own. Only by his mercy we hear him. What one next to the way to that place? But when the word of the Lord sends you to a place, you reap harvests, not just harvest, but plentiful harvest. Faithfulness, faithfulness, faithfulness. The Lord spoke about Isaac. He could only sow in the land because he had God spoke to him. And because he heard God spoke to him and he was faithful enough to heed, to heed, and to do just as God has said, the scripture says, he mightily grew in the land. Listen to me. His growth was prosecuted on him, heeding to the instruction of God that is being faithful. There are some of you, God has spoken to you. Divide your salary into two. Wait, oh, I'm not saying two. And God tells you, go and show it to that man in the mission feed. You, you have problem doing it. And you are saying, God, give me, give me power to make words. You can even go for prayer and uh, prophetic conference. You can come for white man and you hold poke. I bubble, I bubble, Kaya. He says, Embra, Kaba, Baba. God will just be telling you, you will be fool, you will be fool. Go back to what last I told you to what? To do. You can never grow beyond the instruction of God. That you have obeyed. If you don't obey the instruction of God, you can't. Anytime you disobey the instruction, you are pecked. What did I say? You are pecked. 
the day you pass that instruction you obey you move further again then he can tell you what next to do and let me tell you the truth it's not even waiting see some some delayed obedience is disobedience sometimes he will prompt you do it now do it now do it now ah! oh my god oh my god oh my god help me to hear you help me to do what you've said help me to be faithful help me to be faithful and let me tell you the truth if you are not faithful to the instructions of god it's a proof that you don't trust him it's a proof that you don't trust him as you stay in the place you are using your head to calculate you are not faithful it, it shows you don't trust him one of the proof of trust is faithfulness the proof of trust is what faithfulness you will be faithful to the instruction God has taught me some things in my something here. There are times God will just tell me that one it doesn't belong to you. Have needs. Especially the part of money. That's the part many of us struggle with God the most. Am I right? God will tell you, don't that money, don't don't eat it. Give it to somebody. You, you now say, uh -uh, God. How does it make sense? I was a core member in a land where I'm thousands of kilometers far away from where my parents are. In fact, even before I left the house, they don't give me money again. And now I now came to a land that I'm all by myself. So not your first allowance is for me, your second allowance is for me. Say so what? Two months, how will I survive? But one thing is I learned to trust him foolishly and follow him blindly. And you know the funniest thing? What I took out of service here, if I had had all my allowance together, if I did not spend one hour, I can't bring it. It can't be up to what I've left in service with. But the one using your head to calculate because you don't trust him. If you trust him, you will be faithful to his instructions. And the truth is this. If you are not faithful, he can't release more speakings. He can't release more of his words. One perical sight of hearing God is that you must be what? Somebody say faithful. You must stop living by sight. The scripture says, For we do not live by sight, but we live by what? By faith. Somebody say faith. If you must follow God, you must be full of faith. The scripture says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 16, any that must come to him must, must believe that he is. Somebody say he is. That's the foundation of following God. He that must come to him must believe. That's what the scripture says. You must believe that he is. And he is the rewarder of they that do what? That diligently seeking. That faithfully seeking. God does not reward partial faithfulness. What God is committed to is full faithfulness. Somebody say full faithfulness. Somebody say full faithfulness. When he tells you, do it, then you are you are qualified for what? For a next speaking. You are qualified for what next to do. You know what next to do. You know what next to do. Look at the story of David. He said, God, should I push you? God told him, What? Push you. Then he heard the next thing. Am I right? If I push you, will I overtake? And that was not all. God told him, you will do what? Overtake. Then God told him another one again. If I overtake, will I do what? That means as he pursued, God should I overtake. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's part time. Faithfulness. 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 Somebody say faithfulness. God told you, spoke to you. Wake up by 1 a.m. Pray. He told you pray for 30 minutes. That means 1 a.m. to what? 1.30. I say, ah, I'm tired. I walked all day. The God that told you to pray from 1 o'clock to 1.30. Does he not know? Did he not know that you walked all day? Did he not know you will be tired? You now say, and you know what we used to do? We think we can bribe God. Now say, I'll wake up in the morning. 
5 to 8. I will break down. Oh boy, make I tell you that your 5 to 8 is not as worthy in the sight of God like that 30 minutes told you to pray. You know the reason why you can't pray that 30 minutes is because you don't trust Him that He can supply strength. You are thinking that you will pray with your strength. That's why you are looking at your weakness. Uh, do you get me? Stop looking at your weakness. Stop changing this thing. Stop looking at your what? At your weakness. Ah, let me speak to somebody this evening. Some of you God has spoken to you. Wake up at night, pray. He will tap you. In fact, there is a time. He will tap you. He will tap you. How many of you are like that? You did not set alarm. You wake up that time. Is anybody like that? But you will still do. Uh, I will do it four to six. Ah, uh, you are elongating your wilderness experience. You are making your journey longer. The angels are assigned to you to carry your prayers up. Is that time they are at the last? Like football, there is a time they call transfer window. Like now, we are summer transfer window. This is the time you can buy footballers. When the season starts again, when this transfer window closes, if you try to buy footballers, it will be against the rule. So any attempt, even though if you have all the money to you can't buy, you can't buy footballers. Am I right? That means even though if you pay for the footballer, they can't play for the other, they will have to wait to see another movie. Stop looking at your strength. Somebody says, stop looking at your strength. Ah, this journey has brought us into something else. Boy, something, is somebody learning something? Stop looking. Roche, stop looking. He knows you have worked all day. He knew you were in hotel dollar hold up for three hours. But he will still tell you, wake up by 2 a.m. And when you get home, you got home at 11 o'clock. You try to cook beans. You had the beans 12 to 12.30. Maybe because you used pressure pot, so it was fast. So, you know, when you now sleep 12.30, you ought to one. And now that you wake up till you know it's very hard. But in hope you'll be tired. Yet he's telling you, do what? Pray. And the truth is, the, the instructions that we bring about the breakthrough of your destiny will come from those times. Obeying God at that time. And sometimes those transfer window might not come until many or more years. Until many, until many, some many years to come. There was a time God told me, sometimes ago, like some few years ago, God told me, wake up from one to two. Begin to pray, begin to pray. I did small, I did small, I did small. I got tired because I always go to school out with me. I, did, I stopped doing it. He said, do this thing for 90 days. I want to push you to, his, to something. I did not do it all. I don't think I'm always like, like that. I can be very stubborn. I didn't do it. Do you know what happened? After that day, clock, God said, at this time, now showed me vision. He said, this is what I will have brought you in. I have done this. He said, I will not open this thing again until after four years. I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried for mercy. Then he said, after two years, he brought the opportunity back again. I began to pray. I Holy Ghost, carry me. Carry me. Carry me, oh. Carry me. Holy Ghost, carry me. Another prerequisite for hearing God is quietness. Somebody say quietness. You must learn to be quiet. If you will learn God's voice, you must not talk too much. You can't be a talkative and you will hear God. You can't be talking and you are talking. And quietness does not leave me talking alone. Your heart must not be too noisy. What did I say? That's why we advise you that when you want to when you want to make certain decisions of your life, go on retreat. When you want to make certain decisions of your life, go on retreat. Why? Your, your mind must not be too noisy. Some people they don't talk, but your mind is loud. It's like a market. They are seated like this, they are not saying anything. But they are in no show, they are in Dumata market. So you can't hear God. The scripture says, He said, Be still. 
I know that I am God. Stillness of heart is one prerequisite to hear God. You are doing you are doing combat with the ears of this world. Let your heart be what? Be still. My heart be still. Somebody say that. Somebody say, My heart be still. Say, My heart be still. Quietness of heart. Quietness of heart. Quietness of heart. Quietness of heart. You must cherish solitude. So you must cherish seclusion. You must like to be alone. I'm not saying being lonely now. The scripture told us in the, in the Bible, the scripture told us about Jesus. He said he departed into a solitary place alone to pray, to talk to the Father. You must cherish it. What did I say? You must create a time that is just for you and God. Lock yourself from the cares of this world. Lock yourself. Lock yourself. Separate yourself. It's one person to hear God's voice. And anyone who will hear God's voice also must walk in love. Must walk in what? Love. You must walk in love. You're fighting everybody. And you think you want to hear God? And let me tell you one way to quickly hear God. To train yourself to hear God. When you love people and you pray for them, God will speak to you about them. I told some of my guys, I said, if you want to activate the prophetic upon your life, start interceding. Start praying for people. Because I've looked, I looked at my life. How many prayer points do I have? If you are here, you can pray more than 100 prayer points at the city. You are the most pursued person in this life I've never prayed before you have prayer point and you finish you finish the prayer point and you can't even find anything to pray for again even though you have needs but you can't find words to them am I right and the truth is this you can't pray for people if you don't love them you can't that lady wronged me I keep it at that uh, pray, uh, favor stepped on my shoe is in my heart uh, and Genesis did something to me I put it in this part bro uh, Femi did something I put it in this part daddy offended me even though <laughs> I don't even have any right to I will still keep it in this part so every part of your heart is filled up with offenses there is no space for God so there is no way God can find space. Listen to me. When your heart is full of love, you empty yourself for God to fill it. You cannot call this against people and you want to hear God. Go possible. Did you hear me? Some of you will even say, we will, I will never talk to you again until we meet at the feet of Jesus. You. Which feet of Jesus? It's not my own Jesus. Because the scripture says, no unclean thing. We enter heaven and he said without holiness no man shall see him. so that thing you are holding is unholy your own path is the wide way lucifer is your dad <laughs> if you will hear god's voice you must love god you must love people you must love the brotherhood you must love your neighbor as yourself why was God always talking to Moses about the children of Israel? Apart from the fact that he was their prophet, he loved them. When God wanted to destroy them, what did he say? Kill me! Instead of killing these people. Kai! What manner of love is that? Some of you now, if thief come, God forbid, if thief come to your house, they say they are looking for your wife, or they are looking for your brother, you go and present him. Is that not the reality? Love. 
somebody say love you can't hold offenses against people you can't keep offenses in your heart and you will hear god no offenses blocks you from hearing god my father in the lord told me something one day that i can never forget he said to sin he said in all things you do in this life make sure your heart is free from offenses he said because offenses fence you out of destiny and let me put it this way tonight offenses fence you out of the voice of god every of these things that have been listed tonight i want you to go back home in fact before you leave here carry your notebook now and look for the one that you know that you don't have yet open that book open it now search for it look at the one that you know is your challenge that has been stopping you from hearing the voice of god let me give you one minute to do that open it you know which one you yourself you know it mark it mark it mark it oh lord walk upon my heart have you seen it do you know it already i want to hear you lord help me to hear you i believe solely that pastor will continue the series of how to hear from god when it comes next week but so that all of the teaching will not look as though he's pouring water in the basket all of these things have to be checked they have to be checked check your heart right now are you proud are you not humble enough are you not yet a child of god yet but you come to church and let me tell you for the fact that you come to revival tent does not mean you belong to god until you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord you are not yet saved can you pray tonight can you pray tonight rise up on your feet everybody we are going home Whoa. music team help me with that song holy ghost Whoa. music team please help me with that song holy ghost Whoa. stopping me from hearing you i want you to pray to god this evening this is not the time to just look around i want you to cry to god this is between you and god are just looking around and we are not really praying i want us to really pray now take our time to pray i wanted to talk to god but i open my ears let me hear you speak to me lord take away pride from me take away offenses from my heart any of those things that has been mentioned can you pray take away unfaithfulness the grace to obey you so that I can be qualified for more of your word. Can you pray to God? Hey.
so if water is flowing from this side it will never get to this side because there is a blockage this is a blockage i want you to talk to god take away every blockage that stops me from hearing you i want to hear you i want to be where you are that's the beauty of god's word he brings you where he is not where he wants Lord, open my ears. I pray, Lord, 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 I pray, Lord,
and we pray dear Jesus that all that we have heard tonight we receive the grace to put them to use that it might profit us we receive the grace to check ourselves at our time to know when we are falling away in Jesus name we are praying give God glory